Hi guys, it's me Chazzer HD and welcome to the race review for the Japanese Grand Prix 2019 on this very long day, especially for me, doing four videos in eight hours. Mental day, but I've enjoyed it and we've had a great race and we're going to get into it right now. But because the FIA are officially confirming when the race finished, because apparently the checkered flag was waved a lap early, so that means apparently Sergio Perez will get P9. That's not confirmed, but... Because I don't have the official results because they haven't come out yet as I'm, you know, recording this. I'm going to use my running order graphic to show what I think is going to be the official race result of this Grand Prix. So, winning the Grand Prix is Valtteri Bottas in a dominant drive from Sebastian Vettel just about from Lewis Hamilton. Mercedes are Constructors World Champions for the 6th. Time in a row. Albon 4th, Sainz 5th, Leclerc 6th, and then Ricardo, Gasly, Perez, and Hulkenberg. And then, completing the rest of the field, Stroll, Kvyat, Norris, Raikkonen, Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Magnussen, and then Russell and Kubica. And your only retirement, sadly for the Japanese fans, Max Verstappen. But now, let's get into... The teams and how they did first off mercedes and again congratulations to them to winning the constructors they are by an absolute mile if not more the best team in formula one operational wise they are near perfect and when it comes to a race they always get the best result they possibly can when they get the sniff of a result of a p1 or even a one two finish they are always right there to capitalize and a great result for them Valtteri Bottas great drive he left them all for dead at the start and after that start no one was going to compete with him because he was so utterly dominant in that car and you have to say whether you like him or not and I know there's plenty out you know of people out there who don't like Valtteri that much you've got to give him credit this weekend out qualifying Hamilton out racing Hamilton great drive and he fully deserves to get the race win. Lewis Hamilton finishing third. Maybe Lewis wasn't put on the best strategy for the race. But again, for Mercedes, as I said in my race watch along, this race was about Mercedes trying to clinch the Constructors title. And they've done that. So I don't really think it matters that Lewis is finishing P3. It does kind of matter for the Drivers' World title because it then makes it slightly more difficult for Lewis to win um the title in mexico but let's be honest he's going to even if it gets delayed to the u.s grand prix lewis is going to win the sixth world championship so i don't think lewis will be that bothered but yeah great day for mercedes and again greatest team in formula one at the moment and maybe even history next up is ferrari ferrari basically just went full ferrari they completely bottled it in almost every area of the Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel first off. I'm not going to get into it too much right now. Because I'm going to rant about it in my incident analysis coming out Monday 12pm UK time. Clearly jumped the start. Didn't get a penalty for it. But had a shocking start. And lost the race. You know as the lights were about to go out. But Charles Leclerc. Yeah not great by him was it. Uh, taking out I guess Max Verstappen at turn 2. I wouldn't say Leclerc was deserving of a penalty, but Leclerc was definitely at fault. Max had every right to be where he was. He was round the outside, had enough of his car alongside, if not ahead, to deserve space, and Leclerc just wiped him out. And of course, that led to Max's retirement. So, poor by him, and a poor result for Ferrari. Front row lockout, and you end up getting P2 and P6. Shocking result, and... This race, and you know, not just this race, but the race in Russia, these last two races clearly illustrate why Ferrari, even if they have the best car, cannot win a world championship because no matter what you give them, they will throw it down the toilet. They are bottlers, absolute bottlers of Ferrari. And they'll continue to do this because it's in their DNA at the moment and they simply cannot get rid of it. Next up, though, is Red Bull. Uh, Max Verstappen, as I said, took out on the first uh, couple corners. Did continue for a bit, but his car was too badly damaged from the contact, and he had to retire from the race. Sad for him. Albon uh, finished in P4. 
Good drive. Very good weekend also for Albon. I have to praise him. I have criticised him a bit, but good drive. You know, matching Verstappen in qualifying and then finishing how he did in the race. He wasn't dominantly ahead of Carlos Sainz, who did drive very well today, but he was very good in how he came back after the contact with Lando Norris. And I have to say, in that contact, I don't think Albon was really at fault. Norris, I think, probably should have seen uh, that Albon was coming on the inside, but I think Albon did drive very well today. Shame for Red Bull, though, because if Max had got round the outside of Charles Leclerc, who knows what Max Verstappen could have done? Who knows what he could have done? Uh, it would have been great to see what he could have done in this uh, Grand Prix. Now into the midfield. First off, Renault. Where did their pace come from? From 15th and 16th, they were so quick in the race. Daniel Ricciardo, driver of the day in my opinion, from 16th to 7th place. Shame we didn't see any of his overtakes because FOM hates midfield drivers and teams. And... Yeah, great drive. Very, very quick. And I think what enabled Daniel to finish in P7 was the laps. The last few laps he did on the tyres he started on the medium compound, he really did put in some very strong competitive times at the very end of his first stint um, of the Grand Prix. And that allowed him to then be so quick at the end. So... Very, very good performance by Daniel Ricciardo, showing why he is a very, very good driver. Hulkenberg also great drive from 15th up to P10, I believe. Um, and yeah, great day for Renault. They've outscored Toro Rosso. Uh, not massively, but they've done it. Uh, but again, they've lost points to McLaren. But, you know, let's be honest, they're not in a fight with McLaren anymore. But good race result for Renault. Next up is McLaren. One of the drivers of the day has to be Carlos Sainz. P5 in this Grand Prix. And at some points, he was actually running in third or fourth place. And if Vettel um, or, you know, Leclerc, or not Leclerc, if, you know, Vettel or Hamilton had even more trouble at the start than they did, Carlos Sainz could have ended up on the podium today because not only was he P5, he was holding off Charles Leclerc in terms of pace and was keeping up with Alexander Albon. So... Great drive by Sainz, again showing why he has been one of the best drivers in 2019. Going for Lando Norris, said he had to have what he had, but he had his pit stop, his early pit stop was because he had brake issues uh, with his car, which I think we kind of saw in qualifying where his brakes were briefly on fire. So, shame for him, but still drove well. So, you know, you can't say with Lando, he didn't do the best he could, but McLaren, good day. Pace was very strong, especially with Carlos Sainz. McLaren are really going places. Next up is Alpha. They had no pace. They, they had no pace. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen did a late pit stop, came out and passed a few cars, but Alpha had zero speed in their car for some reason. I don't know why, because normally they're better in the races than they are in qualifying, but it was a complete opposite today. So, yeah, very poor for Alpha. And for Haas... You'd have to say the same, P14 and P17, I believe. Again, no speed in the American uh, team's car. Next up, Toro Rosso. Great drive by Pierre Gasly to finish, I believe, at the moment in P8. He has all weekend driven well. He's been a top 10 runner basically the entire weekend. And at some points in the race, he was actually in P5 or P6. He was running very strong. Started to drop off towards the end as drivers like Ricardo and Perez, who are on fresher tyres, were starting to catch up. But great drive by Pierre Gasly. And I have no shame in saying it after the, you know, the criticism I've given him. He's really driving well at the moment. Um, and Daniel Kvyat. I think Kvyat, to be honest, his Japanese Grand Prix fell apart after qualifying because he qualified in 14th, which is way uh, more down than it should have been, should have been, say, P10, P11, because his pace at the end of the race was actually really good, but because he started so far down, and was so far down for the first few laps, he couldn't go anywhere with the actual good pace he did have, so Kvyat really cost himself in qualifying, but yeah, Gasly, great drive, another points finish for Toro Rosso, and the final midfield team racing point, and, uh, well, for Sergio Perez, great drive, even though he did have contact with Gasly 
uh, at the end of the race. I don't think he was actually at fault for that, but still. Um, great drive by Perez to make up a pit stop on Gasly and Hulkenberg and be right there at the end of the race. Unbelievable speed uh, that Sergio Perez had. And I think if he could have started where Stroll did in this race, considering how he started the race, who knows where Perez could have finished. He was so quick today. Stroll was very good in this race up until the last few laps where his, I think he burnt his tyres out too quickly after his pit stop. So shame for him, but that's a bit of a driving error. But he did drive well for most of the race. And I think Stroll has had a good weekend. And of course, Williams finished at the back of all the runners that finished. Just want to say though, uh, big up to Williams for getting Robert Kubitz's car ready for the race because I didn't think they would get it ready, but they did. So great job there. But guys, that's it for the 2019 Japanese Grand Prix. Don't forget to join me Monday, 12 p.m. UK time for the incident analysis, analyzing Vettel's jump start, the contact between Albon and Norris, Pierre Gasly, and Sergio Perez, and Leclerc and Verstappen. Don't forget to join me for that. And until then, I will see you guys very, very soon.